We're just at the Altid Fort now, which is a a very old building here in Gilgit Baltistan, a very popular tourist place, and it's it's very serene. The trees are dropping their leaves. It's autumnal over here, and it's uh, just waking our way into the fort now. And views of the lovely autumnal colours here in Gilgit and here in Hunza, actually. Just heading towards the Altid Fort now. It's taking in the views. <laughs> to the fort now it's a nice steep walk just making our way to this high area now and the view above here it's absolutely fantastic. So I'm just going to share the view with you. Just coming to the top here and check out this view. Check out this view. Look at that view. And it's quite a beautiful scene because it's in the middle of, on this, perched on the side of a mountain, and it's it's built out of rocks, and it's very ancient. But very, like many things which are built many years ago, it's very very stable. And here we are, we're in and this is Altit Fort. And this is the fort from inside. Um, there's a lot of tourists here, there, so there's a lot of noise at the back. Looks very comfortable, a bit dark. Let's listen to the guide. The it's very narrow in here. Um, many of these old buildings tend to be very narrow and tend to have very narrow passageways, and this is no exception. Um, but it's built very strong, it's built many years ago, um, but it seems to be very strong. The doors, as you can see, are very small. And there we are, that leads upstairs. And the rafters here, it's all wood and it's solid stone. <laughs> so 
to once upon a time the the king or the emperor would look out of his kingdom onto this flowing river and these peaks and this is where he would sit just here and this was a room for his rest this was consider it his lounge and as we are in it's a touristy place there are a lot of tourists here today and uh, they're also very noisy look out here and today we have two helipads there perfect location for anyone with a bit of money to land there on their helipad and come into their fort a fellow friend here died um, but look at the view this is on the top of the altitude fort and let me just give you look at that view you've got these mountain peaks you've got the terraces the autumnal colors the houses and you got this beautiful fort here which was built many many years ago yet it's still standing and there we are but as everything things decay and deteriorate the leaves on the trees but they have their own beauty as the leaves are losing their color but just look at this beauty just take in the views and and this force is quite something it's it's absolutely beautiful it's it's very very strong and have a look at this view of look at that view yeah. as you can see it's really popular even though we're in October um, there's a lot of tourists here um, there's some a lot of local tourists actually from uh, the Punjab from seeing the other parts of Pakistan and uh, they're enjoying the nice cool weather and the views over here in Hunza absolutely spectacular truly is a beautiful land but yet yeah, you are whilst we marvel at this spectacle we also thank God for giving us the opportunity and appreciating his creation and also be feel a sense of responsibility to preserving this beauty and respecting the culture and the people who've lived here for many many hundreds and thousands of years can you imagine standing here on top of a terrace on the higher roofs with the star spangled sky the view must be absolutely amazing and it is amazing to this day but can you imagine when this occurred many 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 years ago many thousands even hundreds of years ago when there were no lights and nothing and I can imagine the sky still being awesome at night it must be an absolute treat and then to wake up and have a coffee on this terrace oh it's sheer bliss it's been worth all that bumpy ride through the Kohistan Krakorum highway just for this thousand meters and above and they form a majestic um, 
sort of um, arc from the Himalayas stretching all the way from Bhutan and Tibet and the north of India and these peaks stretch all the way across and they form this beautiful arc which is a jewel in the north of Pakistan um, and these three peaks are all Got some grapevines here, some old grapevines, and there's a shot of the fort. Late at night, it's a beautiful evening, the sun is, has set, the call to prayer can be heard. There's a waft of incense and fragrance uh, in the area as well and uh, it's a beautiful evening and as you can hear the call to prayer is being sounded. You can walk through the old town at night, it's, it's really pleasant, There's got, the streets are still a few tourists around but it's, it's pleasant enough, there's, there's people having food, there's still items you can buy and, um, and it's a lovely scene here. Um, the locals are around, local children, there's no... Sometimes what you find in Pakistan, there's, there's a lot of people that are begging, unfortunately, there's a lot of poverty in Pakistan, so you find a lot of begging, but here you don't find that, you find the Aga Khan who actually has spent a lot of money in preserving the identity and the culture of Gilgit, Baltistan, has um, instilled those values into them. And you find within Gilgit and Baltistan that they, they really have those values, but... Uh, it's very peaceful and I think it's time to go and enjoy some, some nice, hopefully, some nice local Gilgilchi food.